Hey everybody, it's Joa. Um, the there was a question in my Facebook group this afternoon about how to use glyphs, which is the little fancy characters, swirls, extras that are included with some fonts. Um, so I thought I'd make a quick screen recording. I use this app called Unicode. It's Unicode Character Viewer. I will link uh, that or put that down in the description. But that's what I use to access all the glyphs in fonts since Cricut Design Space isn't um, very font friendly at this point. Hopefully that's something they'll update in the future. Um, I'm going to use a script font that I really like. This is a free download. I'll also link this in the uh, description, but this Angelina script, it's free on font bundles, and it has some really pretty glyphs, especially with the lowercase. Um, so that's what I'll use. I'm going to keep, try to keep this short and sweet. Um, I'm just going to type love. Make it a little bigger here so we can see it. And then I know the glyphs have tails, um, you know, a beginning and ending tails on this font, so oops, we'll go to our Unicode viewer and I'll click browse fonts and I'm using that Angelina script and the whole font will come up, every single character that is included with the font. So I'm going to scroll down where these are ending glyphs. So here's a an E that I could add to the end of my love word. So I like that one. I'm going to click the little square with the arrow at the top right corner here to export it. And I'm going to put share glyph and then I'm going to copy it. So now we'll go back to Cricut Design Space and I'll remove the E that was there and paste my E with the, the fun glyph here. It puts a little funky emoji. Um, in the actual text box, but it put the right glyph there that I wanted. So um, I already removed the, the L, so we'll go back and find the L I want. So we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit further to find the beginning parts of the swirls. So here is an L with a swirly front beginning tail, I guess. I don't know, it's not a tail if it's at the front, but once again, we will export it with the top the little square with the arrow, top right corner, share glyph, and copy down at the bottom. Take that back to Cricut Design Space. I already have the cursor there, so I'm gonna hold, just tap the screen, click paste, and there we go. It um, put it in the front of my word. So now because this is a Script font, of course, my letters are all spaced apart a little funny. So I'm going to click edit down at the bottom and then you'll see here letter space. I'm going to click the, oh, I have to tap, tap it first, have it selected. Click letter space and then I'm going to reduce the, just I'm clicking the minus button to scoot these together. I like the OVE part, but the L, if I keep going to connect the L to the O, I think they'll start overlapping. So instead, I'll click off of that. I'm going to go to Actions and Ungroup. So that ungrouped my letters, so they're all separate. And then I'm going to move this L closer, just manually, um, so that it touches my O. A little bit more, can't get it. That's too far. There we go. Okay, and that's really pretty. So now I wanna highlight all of that because of course it's a script font, we want to weld it. I don't want the letters to um, cut separately from the vinyl or paper um, because right now the, all each of those letters would still cut the the end and beginning of the letter separately. So we'll click weld and that's it. That's the, all you have to do to access glyphs um, with the Cricut app. 
And once again, I used the Unicode character viewer. Hope this helps.